click on the new sketch and enter the coding window. At the top, you'll find the toolbar with a few buttons. The block selection bar is located on the far left. You can grab the blocks from there and drop them onto the drawing area. In the middle of the screen is where you'll be drawing the code with the colorful blocks. As you drag and drop these blocks, you will see the code written in MicroPython magically appear on the right side of your screen. When you get skilled enough, you'll be able to switch directly to textual coding in MicroPython without the need for the box. Let's get back to the toolbar. The first button is the Back to Main Menu option, which takes you back to the main menu without saving any changes. Next to it is Save Save As button that saves changes in your sketch. Remember to click on it from time to time and before closing the circuit blocks. This is the connection indicator. When the red dot turns green, the device is connected and you can start coding. This is a serial monitor button that opens the window called the serial monitor. Serial is a nickname for a type of communication that's happening between the device and your computer. This is the hide code editor. We use it to hide the right side of the user interface showing the code in MicroPython. More options now. You can click here to enter Sprite Editor, Device Connection Info, Soft Reboot, Restore Stock Firmware and Log Out. The Run button will translate the code you have created in CircuitBlocks to machine code that your device understands and send it to your device. Let's go over all the buttons in the code window and the drawing board. The code window has the following parts. Main code screen. This is where the code written in MicroPython appears while you play with the blocks. Expand. This stretches the code window across the entire screen. Light dark theme switch. You can change the background and the text color with this button. And with close, you can close the code window. 